Uh, so here's our situation. Uh, we have an existing form. And let's just check the code of the delete. So there is a message box. So let's just test. So it's using the traditional uh, message box which is quite plain and doesn't match our team. So our goal will be to update this. Uh, so to start, uh, let's just add a Windows form. So let's just put a name. Let's just change some properties. So start position, center screen. Uh, it's text. So in taskbar. Uh, false, show icon, false. Then the form border style, fix tool window. And let's just match uh, its background color or back color. Then, uh, let's just add a panel. And let's go back to the uh, form. And let's change its uh, font. Then next, let's just add a label on the panel. Uh, let's just fix its properties. Then, uh, two buttons. Uh, let's just remove its text and uh, add the image. Uh -huh. Let's just fix its uh, positioning. And then let's add a click event for the buttons. Uh, 
And then first, uh, we will create a static function or method uh, to be able to call the message box. So it must uh, return dialog result. So let's just uh, set the dialog result for uh, for the yes and no button. So this dialog result is a internal property of of the form. So we will create a new instance of message box of the custom message box. We will just uh, set the text. And show is show it as a dialog. Then we will return the dialog result. So it's done. Now let's uh, apply it on the item form. So let's just copy this one. And call our custom message box. So now let's just test. There you go. So oh, it's working. Uh, so let's just uh, resize it a little bit. It's quite too big. So let's test again. So much better looking now. <laughs> 